Oh, bad. Yeah. I'm James Babe. Hello, James Bay. Don't make it toxic. Goodbye. Oh, sad. Same bye has been good. <sighs> this is the red carpet treatment brought to you by the Brit Awards with MasterCard. This man, aside from his musical prowess, it, oh no, this is an annoying intro for you. Why? Everyone keeps going on about your hats. Sorry, James Bay, oh, everyone. No. Sorry. Really, I should have begun by just talking about your many, many achievements. But you want to talk about hats? I don't. The card. The recent. <laughs> Listen, why does, everyone keep, why does everyone keep going on, on about hats with you? Because I've worn one a lot. One? Yeah. Was it literally only one hat? I've got a few of the same. Exactly the same design. Show business. Oh my God. You've got to create the illusion. Be honest, yeah. How much do you like hat chat? Is it interesting? I mean, I've got. Fo this is hats. It's a nightmare. Hats. I'll do it. You know what? I'll do it. Height, I will roll over and height, do it. Height of the hat. I was rolling around with a hat on and long hair underneath since way before anybody knew who I was. I was like standing in the streets of Brighton busking or doing like open mic nights or whatever with my hat on. And I was doing it repetitively, like thinking maybe if people don't remember the song, but they like the sound, they'll go. He was in a hat. He had with long a hair. hat. Long hair hat. It's like guy. a whole idea. Is that too preconceived? Maybe. I mean, you've got to do what you've got to do. I went to this place called the Abbey Tavern in Kentish Town. I really like this pub. Yeah. They've got a nice little stage in the window. And this guy came in with like one of these cameras on oh, his shoulder. Right. It was a bit hectic. It was a bit like, you're right? We a big to? boy. Yeah, Yeah. ultimately. And I was, it, it seems weird. In a a rogue DOP. So let me film something. <laughs> <laughs> Completely. <laughs> right. He filmed one of my songs. And I sort of, I, you only get like three songs. And I came off stage and he said, hey man, I like your song. So I filmed it. And he was like, oh, I know this looks weird. He's like, I, I, I do this for a living and I've actually finished work today and I was just here to have a drink. Rogue D.O.P. He said, it was a great song. He's like, I've got a nice take of it. I'll, I'll put it on YouTube and you can have that. And I said, oh, thanks very much. Oh, what? This video isn't on YouTube anymore and nobody knows where it is. Wait, do, I, you know, I, do you know the guy's name? No, I think his name was Ed. Right. That's all I've got. That narrows it down. It went on YouTube. Uh, it, it, it was at a time yeah. when lots of exciting artists that were getting signed were getting like 500,000 views overnight or a million views overnight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Overnight sensations. Yeah. Very exciting. In the space of about six weeks or I don't know, a couple, two, three months. I got 24, 25 plays. But somebody watching was this record label in America, in New York called Republic. You're not, why are you lying for? This is so true. From the 25 Genuinely. views, one was a A&R. You've come undone again, just so you know. Sorry, is that a pure, it's excitement, that excitement, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. Yep, and they called my manager, they said, we really love this video, we'd love to meet James, meet you, hear some more songs, we'd love to do it all in New York, where fly us over, it's all a bit whirlwind, all a bit exciting. Mate, you were discovered, literally. <laughs> Ultimately, I was <laughs> you discovered. You were discovered. And I wasn't, I wasn't on like, uh, yeah. No, no disrespect to the 500,000 views, guys. Have they won multiple Brits? Well, yeah. have I? We'll yeah. find out when you ask me. I did, it, it says it here. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> no, I knew that anyway. You sure? Obviously, James, all I did right. my research. All right. Hold Back the River, released in 2015. Huge song. Thank you. How do you feel performing that now? You know, sometimes artists, you've, you know, you've, you've made a lot of music. Do you look back at that and go, oh, f***ing, stop asking for that one. Or let it go. Like, you're just like, yeah. oh my God, let it, guys, you should, you should let it go. Hang on, for a start, the fact that you've even sort of, uh, like, you've referenced two songs, massive privilege. Really? Absolutely. You've asked about that. Like, one song is, like, unbelievable. Nice. So two is crazy. I think any artist is going to go through, like, liking some of their songs less or more or whatever, but most importantly, live, when you play, or when I play these songs and people kind of go off. Yeah, it's always unbelievable. Listen, your debut album was double platinum. That's crazy. Is that, that's gotta be the best feeling ever. Where's your plaques? Uh, all in storage. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> yeah. Why, are you moving? I, I did, I moved out in January. Oh, nice. Oh, they weren't on the wall before then, is the, I'm being too, too, too honest. It's nice to be modest, but don't make it toxic. Okay. Toxic humility. I like that. Okay, that's, hey, that feels very, yeah. Step up, bro. Therapy. This I'm is James good. Bay, bitch. I love it. Maybe not bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Let's talk the Brits. Okay. 2015 was the big year for you. It was yeah. a big year for you, actually. Oh. Not necessarily the big year, but you won Brits Critics' Choice. Yeah. Uh, you were up against George the Poet. Yes. And years and years. Yes. Still in communication with either of those guys? Sadly, was never in communication with George, who I think is fantastic. He's great, yeah. That's a shame. Ollie, from years and years, uh -huh. is one of the people on the planet who will call me by both my names. Hello, James Bay. How you doing, James Bay? You right, James Bay? He probably thinks it's just one name. Nothing wrong with it. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. it just, I just noticed. You performed at the British twice in 2016. Yeah, I did. So you had your own performance. Yeah. With me. Yeah, that was good enough. And you returned to the stage with Juiced in Bybee. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> sweet, sweet lad. That was literally put together in the previous like 24 hours. Wow. Because his guitar player, Dan, who's lovely, was suddenly having a baby. What? But in Canada. 
<laughs> and he had to be there. Justin's manager and my manager were mates. And Justin's manager said, would James fancy like playing this? Wow. I think I'd done like a little cover it or something. Oh, was it the one he did with Ed Sheeran? Yeah, the, um, oh, Love yeah. Yourself. Love Yourself. And I'd been, I'd loved the song and I'd been playing it on Instagram or something like that. And I said, yeah, that'd be great. Dope. When I went into his dressing room, he's just out of the shower. Towel. But like all hair, like here. What, covering his eyes? And he just sat and we chatted and I could never see his face. He didn't even move the hair out of his eyes. No, it was weird. That's when you know you've made it. I wanted to touch it. I want... Yeah, just... It was a fun moment. He said, give it up for my boy James. And then he ran off to the big stage. You won British Male Solo Artist Award. Beating Aphex Twin, Calvin Harris. Wow. Jamie XX. Okay. And Mark Ronson. Mark Ronson, same birthday. So we're still good. We're good. You yeah, got the Mark. same birthday as yeah. Mark Ronson? Me, Mark and Beyonce. No big deal. Which one of those guys would you most likely go on holiday with? Calvin looks like he has a good time. He's wicked, man. He looks like he sort of sits in the sun really well. Dude, he owns a farm. That'll do. Mark as well, because encyclopedic music knowledge. I just proper. want to listen to him. Yeah, proper. And he's, yeah, done a bit of chatting about that and I've enjoyed listening. Jamie XX and Aphex Twin do seem a little more introverted. They do seem a little bit more. I literally heard that Jamie XX created that album in a dark room. No lights on. Difficult. All right, look, we actually have a clip of you winning a Brit Award. Oh my goodness. And the winner is... Kylie Minogue. Always the winner. James Bay! Padam. Okay, Padam, yeah. This is James's second Brit Award. Ronson, <laughs> glasses on inside. Sorry, Mar Ronson looks f for you, man. Shades on inside, No, though. let's be real. A lot of hugs. The hugs with the hat on, difficult. Hey, listen, you look it exactly the same, by the way, bro. Oh, you look great. Was this one of the three hats? Yeah, it might have been one or two at the time. I might have, after the award, I might have gone, you know what, one more hat. Dude, you want to be crazy. Oh, I don't know what to say in these situations. This is embarrassing. Oh, what, the speech is Absolutely the no worst. idea. Wow. wow, that'll do. Should have stopped there. Oh, mate, is this, is this hard for you? Were you like... Yeah, a little bit. There's a really awkward bit coming up. I would like to just thank my family, my parents, my brother, Lucy. Okay. My brother, Lucy. Yeah, disaster. Lucy's my girlfriend. <laughs> <sighs> I'd never done it before. I'd never accepted an award in front of an arena's worth of people. And oh, I knew there was a word I forgot. All right, you performed with some absolute greats. You just opened up for Bruce Springsteen. That was a crazy moment because yeah. one of my earliest musical memories is the intro noises and music to Bruce Springsteen's song, Born in the USA. I just, it's just a really early- How does that go? Born in the USA. Nailed it. Opening for Bruce was crazy because my dad used to play his music all the time when I was a kid and it just affected me. Did you have a chat with him? Like a couple minutes. Couple minutes. Yeah, that was, that was all I needed. What all I wanted to do is say, you've changed my life along with millions and billions of people's. So thank you so much for that. And, and he was like, he was like fashion. Really? It wasn't just any old like jeans and a t-shirt. What was he wearing? I don't know what it was, but it was absolutely fashion so, forward. So, so like, fashion forward you can't remember it. Yeah, because I don't know. Maybe he wasn't wearing anything. Well, Born in the USA. Uh, I've also performed with Ed. The cameraman. <laughs> Maybe. Ed Sheeran, Lewis Capaldi, Alicia yeah. Keys, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mick Jagger. Yeah. Uh, all of those singers, who's the best? Who's the best? Yeah. Who's better than the rest? Yep. Uh, Alicia. Ooh. You know what? That's a safe one too, because you could probably fight everyone else. Actually, not Mick Jagger. He'd knock you out. No, he's so quick. I mean, the quick, <laughs> small, little, and just like yeah. Wow. Ed no, and Lewis no, both no, no, probably no. just sort of won, just won. Yeah, <laughs> one and done, just gone. Just a lot of shoulder behind it. The dream scenario would be that you would all sing together at the same time. Of course. Ed, Lewis, Alicia, Mick, mm -hmm. James. Mm. What's the name of that group? Uh, okay, just if we can just throw some ideas out or like things that came up in the workshop. Have you got anything? Um. All, all moss. Don't really understand that one. Rolling stone gathers no moss. No, nah, is that? That's rubbish. Uh, the static stones. There's other people in that band. There is. Why am I just focusing on the Rolling Stones? Um, the mainly white keys. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> sure. That's what I'm going with. Okay, done. You brought out the brand new track, Goodbye Never Felt So Bad. I guess it's a play on words to a degree because it, we always say goodbye. It's a play on expectation. Definitely. But has a bye oh, ever been bye. good when it's wrapped up in there's a few, romance? There's a few people where for me saying bye has been good. Okay. So you just said bye. No, for me it's good. But you didn't say good goodbye. Bye. Oh, all right. Okay, okay. Goodbye. Yeah, I see it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. I'm just a heart on sleeve singer-songwriter out there being sad about stuff all the time. It's a great play on words, genuinely. And it's a great song. This summer, I was playing these new unreleased songs. 
when I signed a record deal 10 years ago, they were all like, don't do that. And I understood it. And everybody was like, that's the way, because then people will film it on their phones and then they'll put it online and then there's nothing exclusive about the song coming out. And I was always like, okay, sure. Right. But now the, the game's changed. The game has changed. So I guess what was happening in like the 70s when there was no like social media. So people just like rehearse their new songs live, work out if fans liked them. Right. Ditch the ones that they didn't like, keep the good stuff. So we've been, it's been fun oh, doing so that. that's based off of a reception from crowds. That's great. Right. And the, the experience has been crazy because I played a show in Lithuania the, the other day. I've never played in Lithuania before. They like clapping and singing the words by the third chorus. What? There's a lot of words in that chorus as well. So sure. Have your fans got a name? No, they don't. Do you want to workshop some stuff? The basics. Oh, sad. Feels like a little bit of a burn. It's not a burn. Back to basics. <laughs> okay. That's where you're going. Okay. They liked going by like literally like Bays, but like B A E. Bays. 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 You're a dad now. I am. How is that? It's good. It's, um, it's more than good, it's... Uh, is it phenomenal? It's like phenomenal and absolutely terrifying. So it seems it's all the cliches. And if I want to even attempt to tell you it's tiring, yeah. then um, it's not compared to Lucy, the beautiful mother of my child. Your brother? Shame. <sighs> she's definitely more tired than me because she's a very hardworking mum uh, and I run away onto an aeroplane half the time and go and do a gig and have a bit of a nice sleep. That's hard, man. Well. Yeah, that bit is actually quite lovely for me. Yeah, I know, but you, you, should, you need to do more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely right. Stop doing my job. Go and do more. And maybe you're right. And that is an anxiety I walk around with every second of my life. What's, what's your daughter's name? Uh, Ada. Oh, that's a lovely name. Ada, she's a legend. James, I've got to be honest with you here. I've absolutely loved this interview. Oh. I promise you I didn't write this last question. I promise you. Does Ada have a hat? Unbelievable. James Bay, thank you. <laughs> Coming up next week on the red carpet treatment is Far East. You better play that trumpet. You better play those bagpipes. You better play that triangle. You better play that didgeridoo. 